Normal service resumed in the last one-day international. India wrapped up the series very comfortably over New Zealand. 4-1, and I think it was a fair reflection of how both sides played, to be honest. We move forward now to the T20 internationals. The thing that excites me the most about these T20 internationals are probably the new players for both sides. Rishabh Pant, Krunal Pandya coming back into this Indian lineup for the T20 internationals. I rate them both very, very highly in the short format of the game. I know Rishabh Pant has become the Indian test match keeper, which he was in Australia. He's exciting, but I think the T20 game really suits him down to the ground. He, I love his aggression with the bat, behind the stumps, everything. He competed with the Australians really well, so I love that about Rishabh Pant. And he wants to take the game on, which is just basically the young breed of Indian cricketer. That's exactly what they want to do. As far as Krunal Pandya is concerned, I think he's equally as talented as his brother Hardik Pandya. So to me, he will play a big part as well. The left arm spin, the left-handed batsmanship, he can knock it out of the park, love watching him play. So they're the two key components from the Indian point of view. And the rest of the side, well, whoever they go with, I know Rohit Sharma will start at the top, he'll captain the side. Whoever they decide to go with doesn't have a big part to play, I don't think, looking forward to the World Cup for an in, from an Indian point of view. This is a completely different style of game, a completely different series. And to me, I don't think it matters moving forward to the World Cup what they do in this T20 series. From a New Zealand point of view, they welcome back Scott Kugeline, Doug Bracewell. Good to see that Daryl Mitchell was getting an opportunity as well. He's had a very good year for the Northern Knights in the uh, domestic T20 competition. He's been rewarded with a place in the side. He's the son of an All Black, a former All Black, and John Mitchell and an All Black coach. The first time that's happened, we think, in New Zealand cricket history, that an All Black has produced a cricket playing son to play for New Zealand. So hopefully Daryl Mitchell gets an opportunity there. He's just a gentle medium pace bowler, but hits his York as well, and he's a big lad. He can knock it out of the park. For Scotty Kugeline, another opportunity for him after a very good performance in the T20 earlier this year. So uh, looking forward to watching him. And Doug Brace will get an opportunity as well. I don't know whether he can push any further for the World Cup squad just through the T20 performances, but any little performance for Bracewell will just keep his name in the selectors' minds moving forward. New Zealand are a decent T20 side. I think India probably still have the wood on them as far as T20 is concerned, particularly in the bowling department if they get that right. So I'm expecting a really close contest, a good series. We start here in Wellington again and uh, hopefully this weather continues that we've had throughout this summer. India have enjoyed a really, really good time of it. Some warm, decent weather. Let's hope that continues. And we get a good series. I'm going to go 2-1. 2-1 to India in the three T20s.